Sparks Award winner. Thank you for being here today. I greatly appreciate it. And if I can actually get this mic somewhere where I can use it, we'll be in good shape. Uh, sorry for all the videos, but hopefully they gave you a little taste of who Stevie was and what was important to him. I think in the videos you saw a lot of Mount Carmel baseball, a lot of Illinois Sparks baseball, a lot of family, a lot of friends. That's kind of what he was passionate about, kind of things that were important to him. So we thought it was kind of important that you guys see that and get a better concept of who he is. As Tim pointed out, not a lot of you sitting in this room have met him. And I think um, when Tim asked that question, uh, maybe I'll ask it real quick again. How many people, if you would, raise your hands that actually have met Stevie in this room? So there you see, if you look around, there's not many. So for us, Hence, it's why you, unfortunately or fortunately, you get a little more video than, uh, than you might like. But hopefully, hopefully you like it. The Sparks Award was something we started um, because, like Mount Carmel, the Illinois Sparks was very, very, very important to Stevie. Uh, he, thought, he thought that was just the coolest organization in the history of the planet. And I appreciate the fact that a lot of you guys play for a different organization. So I'm not here to, to tout that, I'm just here to tout his love for that organization. He loved a lot. So that being said, what we wanted to do was actually be able to get back to kids in the Sparks organization who are doing it the right way. The actual award reads, Do It Stevie's Way, Cangelosi, Cangelosi Sparks Scholarship 2018 presented to, which I will we'll save till the end, for your dedication to getting better every day, and for your effort and attitude, whether it be in the dome, in the dugout, on the field, or in the community. Thank you for showing us how much the game means to you, for your love of the game, for being a great teammate, and for playing it the right way, Stevie's way. So that's what the award is. Uh, this year I've talked to several coaches in the organization that have coached this young man, and you know I can tell you that Everything I'm going to read for you is going to be from the vast majority of those coaches. Uh, but I will say, from my own end, um, there couldn't be a, a better candidate and a better recipient of this award. So, our candidate, our winner this year, has been described as a tireless worker at the Dome and around the baseball community. Within the last 18 months, he completely changed his diet and training regimen. He was always a good player but not necessarily in the best excellent shape, but that's no longer the case. His speed improvement via treadmill training has inspired many in the program to seek out the same training. He was the first in the Sparks program to undertake this training, which improved his time from a 7.2 to a 6.660. He has a very easy and pleasant personality, which I will strongly attest to. A smile is very easy on him, just as it was with Stevie. He is very respectful, and I personally appreciate the time when he comes up and always says hi, when I, whenever I was at the dome. And I just changed a, a slide because I'm a dork. <laughs> um, but with all the on-field success this young man has had, what impresses these coaches the most about him is his dedication in the classroom and his responsibility that he feels to the younger baseball player, a younger athlete. This young man has always looked up to people before him. In this case, guys like Ryan Cutt, last year's recipient, Mike Massey, the 2016 recipient. And he really looked up to them for the way they carried themselves and the way they played the game. The coach says he knows that those guys would always talk about Stevie and how much it meant to embody the way Stevie played on the baseball field and how important it was to them to do so. This created the lasting impression on this young man who at that time basically created a goal for himself. 
and that goal was to win this award. At the time that he set this goal, he told his parents, this is my goal. I want to win this award. And I know his family is very excited about that and probably even more excited today that guess what, he is the 2018 recipient. He's been truly inspired by Stevie and is a great advocate for continuing to spread his message. From a coach from his high school and travel program said he couldn't be more proud of the young man he's become. And I attest to that as well. So we as, an, as a foundation, we as an organization from the Illinois, from the Cantalosa Sparks, couldn't be more proud to name Brandon Camilla, Sandra Meister, That was easy.